Hey, what's up, Reefers? Thanks for all the help um, for trying to get my Zoas opened. So I tried a few things this week, and I think I'm narrowing the issues down. Um, they're still not completely open, but some of them are peeking, peeking out, as you can see. Um, so one thing I noticed, right, is that I run the um, Radeon Gen 3 um, on the radiance mode um, what happened is like throughout the day the color temperature changes um, intensity also changes uh, I had it I had intensity set to I think 35% is really low um, and what happening is in the beginning Zoe is actually opened um, actually sometimes fully opened especially I'm looking at this colony right here um, I think it's a uh, uh, is that I think it's eagle eyes or dragon eyes uh, also using these as a gauge. So in the beginning, it's actually pretty opened, um, especially these guys right here, which they were closed um, in my last video, as well as the lower parts of this colony. But as the day goes by, um, when it hits about three or four hours into the light schedule, they started closing up actually really tightly. So that leads me to believe that they do not like the light, or, uh, whether it's intensity or color temperature. Um, so this week, I did actually did a couple things that people recommended, including uh, squirting some liquid from uh, thawed, was it brine shrimp, and mysis shrimp, just to kind of entice the polyp in case like they smell food, they want to come out. So I did that. Um, I run carbon in case there's something going on with the water chemistry. Uh, but after seeing, after actually observing, like every half an hour come down, observing how the zoas react to the light schedule, I really think that maybe they're getting light burned. Um, so I dial down the light intensity um, to from 35 to like 20%, even 20% intensity. And I'm still seeing the same results. Like in the beginning, they opened, and then throughout the day, start closing up like tightly. So I switch up my uh, lights programming to a traditional reef, meaning that um, I'm running on a 12 hour cycle, but for the first and last, I think it's like hour or two hours, um, I'm basically just like a tinic, like running like 20K, 20K blue in 30% intensity. And in, in between, like throughout the main portion of the day, it will be running, I think I have a set at 15, uh, 15K or 15.5K um, at, also 30% intensity. So as you, as you can see right now, this is um, actually just day two trying to run the schedule. Uh, the Zoa seems to be opening a little bit, not fully opened, but they're not tightly shut anymore. So I think that's a good sign. Maybe that's um, that may be the issue, uh, number one light. It was maybe getting light burned. So I'm gonna try running the schedule. Um, I see that the issue now is while the Zoas are peeking out, I'm not sure if you can see this actually, it's kind of blurry. The tentacles are not completely open. Same thing over here. So, I tried to up the intensity by 5% and they started closing up. So I feel like, okay, that's too much light. Uh, so what does this mean? Does it mean I need to dial down the light even more? Or, um, I started, I'm starting to think like maybe they're getting too much flow. I need to like dial down the flow um, because now that I think about it, I did adjust the power head a little bit after I get the frog spawn because otherwise the power head would be pointing directly at the frog spawn. So I moved it out a little bit. So maybe the, um, the flow kind of take a little bit to adjust to or they just, they just don't like it. So also dial down the flow a little bit, um, dial down the light, uh, set it so that the light no longer is um, gradient to different color temperature. And I'm gonna let it run for a week or so to see if there's any improvements. Um, I mean, already I see that the open the opening. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, usually uh, you probably don't want to do all, make all these changes um, because there's like so many variables. If I really want to go down to the bottom of the root cause, I'll probably just play with one thing at a time. But at the same time, I do not feel comfortable with the Zoas closing for such a long period of time. So I'd rather just fix it than finding out exactly what it is. 
Uh, maybe after I fix it, and if I have time, <laughs> if I have the willpower, I can kind of change one thing at a time to see what causes this always a close-up again. So um, for now, at least for this week, I'm gonna try to run the tank at this new light schedule. I mean, time-wise it's the same. Intensity is about 30%, except it's now sitting pretty at 15K with 20K uh, in, be in the beginning and the end. And also the flow is down, down a little bit just in case the flow was too rough for them. And we'll see if anything improves. Yeah, this has been a pretty stressful tank-wise. Um, week, uh, actually not, not just a week, a month. Like everything else looks fine. It just is always, and it's frustrating because like all the water chemistry comes back fine, you know? So now I'm just kind of playing with the light and then the flow. And I think the biggest discovery this week is that um, in the beginning of the radiance lighting period, the Zoa is actually opened, but it's actually, as the day goes on, the light side is changing spectrum um, and slightly intensity, they close up. So maybe, maybe it has something to do with light. And the flow of low flow, maybe it'll help it out as well. So crossing my fingers, please uh, send some good vibes my way. Hopefully I can get this resolved and move on today. All right. Talk to you guys later.